welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to go check out Tule Springs Fossil Beds, which is a national monument. It's actually a pretty new addition to the National Park Service. I think this was established in December of 2014. This is on the outskirts of Las Vegas in the Northwest Valley. So we're going to go check it out and see if we can see any fossils and stuff. And I'll tell you all about it. Tule Springs is part of the National Park System, but you don't have to pay to get in here. There's no pay kiosk, no toll booth, but there is an information kiosk here at the parking lot. It tells you all about the area, the fossils that they've unearthed, this giant mammoth tusk they found here. And here is a map of Tule Springs. You can see how gigantic it is. This is the south unit, which I'm going to be going to here shortly. And this is where we are right now. But it stretches all up past the Las Vegas Paiute Reservation, all the way up north, just south of the other Air Force Base, right off of 95. Along here, there's parking. And then on the other side of the kiosk, there's a lot of parking too. Uh, and it's all free. Back in 1933, an excavation team, they came across during the excavation, a set of bones from a mammoth. And so that was how they discovered the abundance of fossils here at Tule Springs. Then in 1962 to 63, not at the location that I'm at, but there's another location. It's a very, very big national park. I think it's something like, well, not national park, national monument. It's something like 22,000 acres. But anyway, in 1962 to 63, at this other location that I mentioned, not far from where I'm at, they did something called the Big Dig. I believe that National Geographic documented it. So a bunch of scientists came out here and they were trying to establish if, I think, they were trying to establish the presence of early man at the time of these Ice Age animals uh, during the Pleistocene era. So they found a piece of obsidian that had been worked into a tool because of human action. And they wanted to see in the different layers if they could discover human artifacts alongside of fossils from the Ice Age. I don't think that they actually wound up doing that. And so for the most part, I think that they were a bit disappointed, but I believe they found a bunch of fossils at any rate. But that doesn't diminish the importance of this area. It is very rich in Ice Age fossils. Those fossils belong to the different types of animals such as mammoth, specifically Colombian mammoth, uh, and bison, dire wolf, saber, tooth cat, American lion, a specific type of horse that was around during the Ice Age, um, giant sloth, I'm trying to think if I'm, uh, camels, camels were here in, during the Ice Age. But anyway, they found fossils, bones from those various types of animals from that period here in Tule Springs. Most notably, they found a giant mammoth tusk and earthed that. And I think they found a camel skull or a horse skull from the Ice Age. So, who knows? You know, where I'm walking right now, in all these different layers, there could be, you know, saber-toothed cat bones in there. This whole area was underwater back in the Ice Age. And I was watching another person's video and they were saying that these um, porous rocks used to be coral back then. This is fossilized coral. But quite honestly, I couldn't tell you the difference between a bone and a piece of coral. So I don't know what I'm looking at there. <laughs> yeah, see, there's more of these crazy looking rocks over here. 
You can see all the layers right here. Different sediment over the years. So what if I find a fossil while I'm out here? What's the protocol? Well, I looked up on the National Park Service's website and you have to fill out a form. They want you to record the GPS coordinates if you find a fossil or something that you think is a fossil and then fill out the form. Do take pictures of it, I believe, but do not share it on social media or with your friends. <laughs> so if I get lucky enough to find a fossil, apparently I can't share it with you. Uh, have I found one yet? Um, who's to say? Maybe I did. No, I haven't found anything yet. I just, I see the, these pieces of coral all around, if that's what those are. But I, I, if I saw a fossil, I, I don't think I would know it was a fossil. But this place is very fascinating. Kind of hard to believe that this whole area was marshland way, way, way back. But contrary to what the name implies, Ice Age, this area back then was not under glaciers or sheets of ice. It was cooler, much more temperate, a lot of water, which is what drew the animals here. It was a watering hole. A couple of years back, there were some homeowners here in the Tule Springs area. Just beyond over there is uh, all home development. But anyway, this couple, they were putting in a pool in a house they had just bought, I think. And as they were digging the hole for the pool, they came across some bones. They turned out to be horse bones. I'd have to dig a little deeper. I'm not really sure if those horse bones were from the Ice Age era. But I would assume, because of how close they were to Tule Springs, that they probably were Ice Age Pleistocene horse bones. Well, this is cool. Citizen Science Station. Anyone can be a citizen scientist. Citizen science is the voluntary involvement of the public in scientific research. The data you collect as a citizen scientist can assist professional scientists and resource managers in their studies to better understand the park's natural and cultural resources. Join our citizen science project by using our chronology time-lapse station. Okay, I did my part. I took a picture and I'm going to, when I get home, I will upload it for them to put into their data so that I can be a citizen scientist. It's a really nice hike to do in February. Temperatures are really perfect. It started off in the high 40s and we're probably inching close to 50 degrees right now. For me, I like that temperature. It might be too cold for some others. But there's a beautiful view of Mount Charleston covered in snow over there. And you pretty much have that view the entire hike. And if you're interested in doing this hike and you want to bring your dog along, it's okay. As long as they're on a leash and you pick up after them, dogs are allowed here. And as far as difficulty, very easy. Another helping factor to get this place turned into a national monument because the Air Force advocated for it as well. There, were, there was a group of concerned citizens who basically got this place turned into a national monument because I guess the BLM was about to sell the land to some developers and make more homes. Um, but these concerned citizens got a petition together to send to Congress and then the Air Force also advocated for it since this is kind of in the path of their airspace. And I guess if you build homes, uh, then noise abatement procedures go up for any type of air traffic over those homes, which I guess would have impacted the Air Force. Yep, that was horse poop. <laughs> they also allow horseback riding on this trail as well. Well, we are coming to the end of the hike here. You can see the cars in the distance. This is the little parking lot that they have for this portion of Tule Springs. There's a kiosk over there as well. I'm gonna jump in the car and go to the other Tule Springs parking lot. 
All right, we're headed off to the other Tule Springs location, and this one is close to the 1962-63 site of the Big Dig. About to pull into the parking lot at the south end of Tule Springs. It's all out there. <laughs> So that's interesting, I didn't know that. They actually did a first dig in 1903, USGS survey scientists. So this is the south entrance to Tule Springs. The road that it's right off of is a little bit more traffic, so there's a lot of, a lot of car noise. I was talking earlier about how this is all part of Nellis Air Force Base's airspace. A couple of military helicopters just flew over. Also, one of the other really interesting facts about Tule Springs is it's the first place, I don't know in the world, but in the US that they did radiocarbon dating. So it has that distinction. And then I was watching a video about Tule Springs, one of the modern day scientists that comes out here all the time, saying that this is probably the best collection of Ice Age Pleistocene era fossils in the world. And to think, had it not been for the grassroots efforts of some concerned citizens, all of this land might have been turned over to developers. So here's some fun facts about fossil collecting. First of all, you cannot collect anything here at Tule Springs. Nothing, no rock hounding, no shell fossil collecting, and certainly no vertebrate fossil collecting. But if you're out on a hike on BLM land and you come across a vertebrate fossil, uh, you're not supposed to collect that. You're supposed to alert the authorities of your find. But when it comes to shells, you can collect those. And I have, I've actually found a number of shell fossils here in the outskirts of Las Vegas, really close to where I live. In fact, that place that I just did a video at not too long ago with the, the mysterious artwork out in the middle of the desert, uh, I always see shell fossils on that hike because millions of years ago, this was all underwater, the whole Vegas Valley. I think it was a prehistoric ocean. So there are shells to be had out all over the place here. I have to say, this part of the hike, or this side on the south end of Tule Springs National Monument, not as interesting as the one I started at. It's a lot flatter out here, and you certainly hear a lot more traffic, so not quite as peaceful as the entrance point that's right off of Durango, and I want to say I think Moccasin. Also, you don't have that interesting tufa-like sand structure where you can see the different levels of sediment. There's also another park that's about to open that's kind of situated inside of Tule Springs Fossil Beds National Monument. And that is a brand new Nevada State Park called Nevada Ice Age Fossils State Park. They've created a visitor center for it and it is supposed to open sometime this year in 2023. And that particular location is really, really close to the site of the 1962 Big Dig. And in the visitor center, I've seen some renderings of it online. It appears that they're gonna have some specimens that they found here, which would be great. Because it is fun to walk around here and know that there's a bunch of fossils out here, but at the same time, I don't know, it's kind of a tease to not see any fossils. You know, I know they're here, they're just somewhere underground. Or if they are sticking out, I mean, I don't know what to look for, I'm not a scientist. Thanks for joining me on this trip to Tully Springs Fossil Beds National Monument. 
here in Northwest Las Vegas. Please give the video a like, leave me a comment. I love responding to comments. Hit subscribe and ring the bell for notifications so that you can uh, be alerted to when I put out new videos. I put out videos every week on Tuesday. Thanks again and I'll see you in the next adventure.